pain, a common phenomenon in our day-to-day -day life, causing us suffering, making us unwell with unpleasant sensory experience and associated emotional disturbances. We look for quick relief and hence take hasty decisions. But pain management is a scientific, systematic medical approach towards the problem and has an enormous success record. It is an interdisciplinary approach for easing the suffering and improving the quality of life of those living with pain. And Dorodia masters in it. Located at Kolkata, the cultural capital of India, Dorodia has facilities of diagnosis, treatment, research and training on pain management. Kolkata had her own history of pain management in the hands of the legendary Mother Teresa. In 1952, Mother founded the Missionaries of Charity Nirmal Ride at Kaligat in Kolkata, where she started nursing the sick, destitute and the dying. Gracious and stylish, cultured and calm, Kolkata is a daily festival of human existence. As the former capital of British India, Kolkata retains a feast of dramatic colonial architecture with more than a few fine buildings in photogenic states of skyscrapers. The city is also developing dynamic new town suburbs, a rash of air-conditioned shopping malls and some of the best restaurants in India. This is a fabulous place to sample the mild, fruity tang of Bengali cuisine and share the city's passion for sweets. For a tourist, Kolkata is a delightful adventure featuring the ancient Kalihat Temple, the incredible Victoria Memorial, Rabindranath Tagore's house, which is a museum come gallery, the Indian Museum, to name a few. The annual mean temperature is 26.8 degrees Celsius. Monthly mean temperatures are 19 to 30 degrees Celsius, a perfect weather for people who like to roam and explore any ancient city. Residing in the same Kolkata, Dorodia excels in different pain trainings such as headache, neck and back pain, knee pain, cancer pain, migraine, trigeminal neuralgia, herpetic neuralgia, complex regional pain syndrome, fibromyalgia and many more. The clinic uses a blend of different pain management modalities starting from non-pharmacological modalities like cognitive behavioral therapy to radiofrequency ablation, spinal cord stimulator, percutaneous disectomy, vertebroplasty, ozone nucleolysis or endoscopic disectomy. The pain clinic has also started pain courses and workshops in association with Faculty of Medicine Parjajaran University at Bandung, Indonesia. I have running more than five tours in Indonesia. I invited the radiators of the faculty uh, many times all the things, uh, all the guys from the radio coming to my country. The radio here today is uh, in the uh, Samari Dalai Papa. Uh, they also came and delivered a good lecture. We've been practicing in mannequin, we've been practicing in territory, also the Raya Mono. Everything is uh, very, I mean, uh, very enriched by knowledge and um, my background in uh, pain medicine. Modern pain management saw its light in the Western world. Slowly it spread throughout the other parts of the world and became very popular in India. Dorodia made a bright start by opening its clinic in Kolkata where not only patients but doctors in and out of the country attended for the training of pain management. More than thousand doctors have opened their own pain clinics after they have been trained at Dorodia and have been successful in pain management functioning. 
not in pain management yet, but what I've learned, it gives me the confidence that at least I can start some uh, pain clinic. Um, the course has been very good. It's been an eye-opener. I've seen almost all the uh, blocks, you know, that are in the books practically on many pains and on live patients. And uh, I'm so happy I came uh, out to establish a pain clinic in my hospital. And uh, I recommend this uh, course, especially to my residents, to also come and learn, so that when they come back, they can help with you know, the running of this clinic. Every single day, I got one, at least one pleasant surprise from this course. All my expectations are fulfilled. It's not the expectation, it's beyond what I thought. The course, the arrangement done by sir, arrangement at get for guest house, lecture arrangements, demonstrations, everything is beyond the expectation. And definitely I recommend it to do, every doctor should do this course, even for the MBBS, because if this mission of sir, what he has taken, if it goes ahead, it will help, not only help the India, but whole world to get relief of pain. Because there are a lot of people in the society who are suffering from the pain and nobody knows or very few people knows how to treat it. So every doctor, every person should definitely go through this course at least once. Pain management being a new and developing stream in the medical world, orthopedics, neurosurgeons, anesthesiologists and many other doctors from the different streams of medicine seem to get attracted towards it. But the most pain clinics are expensive and are located in the Western world. Dorodia is the first clinic in this field that has started its cost-effective state-of-the-art pain clinic and training institute in this part of the world. Its popularity reached that height that medical practitioners from the US and European countries frequently come for regular training. Dorodia Pain Clinic has been awarded Excellence in Pain Practice Award for Multidisciplinary Clinical Pain Practice by World Institute of Pain based on the Pain Center's achievements as mentioned in WIP's letter dated 6 Jan 2011. The letter stated, this professional designation is being conferred because your pain center excels in areas of pain medical practice deemed by WIP to be synonymous with a multidisciplinary pain practice based on your pain center's achievements in clinical pain practice, training programs for physicians and non-physician personnel and clinical and basic science research with special qualifications for your pain center's impact on the speciality of pain practice in local, national and international networks. It was the first time in Asia and till now only once in India along with 11 other pain clinics around the world. Dorodia received Best Pain Clinic Award by ISSP, Indian Chapter of International Association for the study of pain at Chandigarh at Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research in February 2011. That time, Governor of Himachal Pradesh, India, Her Excellency Urmila Singh, awarded the certificate and a trophy. I saw a lot of varieties of cases and uh, took the training on the mannequins. It was excellent. Uh, they gave us a chance and they, um, we saw also many uh, patients uh, for the clinic. I really, uh, my, uh, my uh, expectation, uh, the expectation was, was not like this. I'm very proud to come here, uh, very happy to come here to Doradia and take this course. And plus, I uh, advised uh, all of anesthesia doctors who I want to uh, be a pain management physician to come to Radia and take this course. Really, it's uh, fantastic. It, it's uh, and Radia Bank is the second to none to the other uh, other uh, the world uh, clinic pain management. It was the first time, and 
only once in the history of pain medicine in India, Dorodia was invited as scientific co-partner by Iranian Society for Regional Anesthesia and Pain Management at their first International Congress from 15 to 17 September 2010. Dorodia was also a scientific partner at International Pain Conference at Chennai in 2011, at Delhi in 2012, and at Ahmedabad in 2014. To encourage pain physicians, Dorodia has introduced its one-of-a-kind award for doctors named Pain Physician of the Year in junior and senior level. Pain Physician Award in both junior and senior level for the year 2011-2012 and 2012-2013 has been awarded. The award ceremony held in Kolkata was attended by stalwarts in international pain therapists community. The director of pain clinic, Dr. Gautam Dash, became the chief editor of Indian Journal of Pain which is the official journal of ISSP, India chapter of IASP, International Association for the Study of Pain, from 2012 to 2015. He was also the chairman of Indian, Pakistan and Iran chapter of World Institute of Pain from 2007 to 2013. Dorodia is building a state-of-the-art 35,000 square feet area in Rajarhat, New Kolkata, which is solely dedicated to pain training, treatment and research. Pain training, treatment and research are generally related to hospitals. It is the first time in India that pain management has its own institution where proper training, treatment and research is done. After passing my anesthesia post-graduation degree, I was always thinking about pain management, uh, but I couldn't get any option. But uh, sometime I uh, got it through internet. And uh, when I came here, I found uh, that this is a very good course. And uh, whatever I expected, it is much, much beyond, beyond that expectation. The Second Opinion Pain Clinic Study says that nearly 30% patients seek a second opinion and 16% patients do not believe in first diagnosis. Thus, second opinion has a strong impact on the patient's decision making. Therefore, it is always beneficial to encourage patients to go for a second opinion. A second opinion pain clinic makes pain patients aware of the pain treatment options, convinces the treatment modalities, high-end interventions are properly justified, and if in a case of failure or partial result of initial interventions, subsequent management options are properly planned and implemented. Dorodia is the first to open a second opinion pain clinic in India. Because of the geographical differences and digital divide, it becomes a problem to many interested patients and doctors to communicate to Dorodia. For them, Dorodia has come up with a unique idea of providing textbooks and video books which explains how to start and run a pain clinic and common pain management procedures. These books are highly comprehensive handbooks for all those concerned with the speciality of pain management. These are useful not only to pain experts, but also to specialists from as diverse areas of medicine as anesthesiology, orthopedics, neurology, rheumatology, psychiatry, oncology, and interventional radiology. Is it first try to develop some systematic approach to diagnose pain. Most of the other pain clinic, the approach is different. They try to treat the pain, ignoring the diagnosis of the disease. But here, we first realize we cannot give long-term pain relief unless we make a proper diagnosis. And for that, we need a proper clinical methods. So we tried our own systematic ways, which is definitely evidence-based and literature supported.
and gradually we try to develop our own system of clinical methods of diagnosing a painful condition. Second important aspect of our pain clinic was the training part. We started a workshop on the specially designed mannequin. Conventionally, the most of this workshop is conducted on the cadavers. The problem with the cadaver is the body is stiff, the needle when introduced into a cadaver, it gives a tough feeling. It's difficult to negotiate the needle within the cadaver. But when we developed our own mannequin based on the same kind of tissue feelings and the radiological imaging are also the exactly the same as the human body because we have taken the original bone to prepare these mannequins. So the same kind of pictures but the tissue feelings or the needle is inside the tissue it gives exactly the feelings of a live tissue. It becomes very popular tool to learn the pain management procedures. In the last seven years, more than 10,000 patients have been treated and brought back to a better life. More than 1,000 doctors around the world got trained in this new field of medical science. For a painless world, get in touch with Dorodia, the pain clinic.